Hello everybody, Ian Rops here. Welcome back to Emerald Coast USA. All right. <clears throat> Got a couple things going on today. Uh, as you can see, I mowed the field last night. I was, uh, I just turned my computer on and uh, played a little bit last night. So I got the whole field mowed uh, last night. And one thing I noticed is that this, I forgot about this particular tractor. It has a particularly, um, not a great turning radius, let's just say that. Uh, so I had to do an extra headland around the outside here to make sure it all worked out all right in the end here. Also, I'm trying VoiceBot today. Uh, I got a Humble Bundle the other day and I had VoiceBot included in it. So basically what you can do with VoiceBot is give your PC audio commands. So for example, uh, one of the ones that I put in, and I'm going to show you in a second. I, didn't, I haven't done a whole lot of them um, yet, but I'm going to show you what the one I have in here is. Oh, the exit's on here. It's in the middle up here actually. I'm gonna get out, I'll get off the field here real quick. I'm not sure yet. Just, I only have one command so far, uh, so I was just kind of tinkering around with it last night. Uh, I got this in that uh, Humble Bundle and a couple other things, so I just wanted to check them out, see what they were like. Uh, we need to go south. Actually, I'll do. I'll leave this over here on this in this area up here because I'm probably going to be mowing up here way more than anywhere down the other side of the farm here, so. So I have VoiceBot enabled, and uh, I just wanted to see what uh, what it was like, basically. Uh, there actually have some, uh, for depending on the the game, some games kind of lend themselves much better to uh, voice commands than other ones, of course. Uh, let's put it in the shed here, I think will be sufficient. Uh, there's our wrapper anyway, so this makes perfect sense. All right, now let's put the other thing in here. And I'm not too worried about the things being dirty because I have a mod that will clean them every week anyway, so. But apparently this got fairly dirty doing that, which doesn't quite make a whole lot of sense considering it was, well maybe it was from some mud apparently. Um, now that does remind me, there is another mod, I think it's in miscellaneous? Let's see here. There it is, miscellaneous. No, this Gary here. You can get measurement tool of the soil. All right, so apparently uh, we're gonna disconnect this and drive this forward here a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna show you one of the commands right now from VoiceBot before I forget about group one. Kind of neat. So you can do that with a whole bunch of the different things. Uh, we wanted this big tractor here because we wanted the merger is what we're looking for. So that's one of the commands and uh, I have it set up so I have to hit a specific key before it will enable otherwise it'll hear all my talking and all my blabbering on basically. So if you watch my video on Tower Pro 3D where you can give your uh, you can give all of your planes audio commands basically uh, it's the same idea as that and you can have it you can actually have it respond and everything too and I haven't quite figured that out yet so I'll have to figure out what would be some good commands for farm sim uh, in terms of uh, uh, good commands for farm sim in terms of voice commands. So if you have any ideas, by all means, leave a comment below with your idea as to what uh, what command would be a good one just for voice only. Uh, so for example, if I could say lights, for example, and then I'll turn on my lights. Uh, that's another possibility. Uh, no, next field. So that's another possibility that uh, we could have. Now we have the merger right here and we kind of need a bigger tractor because it just looks silly uh, behind the other tractor. This looks more properly scaled, although this is a giant tractor for this thing in reality. But that little 5M just looks silly. Way too silly behind this. Actually, you know what I could do? Now that I think about it, I have the, the 4700 uh, over there that probably would work for this as well now that I think about it. so. Uh, let's grab that tractor. Uh, probably, hopefully, the sizing on that one's all right. Because uh, I need this tractor to bail, anyways. Because uh, I believe you need 140 horsepower for this. Let's just check real quick. So, for example, one of the commands I could do is shop, and it'd bring up the shop, for example, which wouldn't be a terrible one. Uh, let's see here. I am looking at. 
this guy right here. 175 horsepower. Okay, it would do the job then. So what I'll do here is leave that there. Maybe we'll move it out of the way first though. There we go. And what I think we're gonna do, I think we're gonna go into mix some uh, silage bales out of some of it, or silage out of some of it, and then make some of the rest of it into hay, I think. So we have a bit of both. And I believe we can just put straight, actually, no, what we'll do, we'll just do this. We'll just leave it on this tractor for the time being. Um, and then we'll do a couple headlands right now. Because what I'm gonna, what the plan is, is I'm gonna do this, these headlands right here also is all gonna be silage. Uh, so it's going to go into one of those silos over there, and then the other ones are going to be, uh, the other ones are going to be, uh, they will be what? Hay bales. Uh, I want, where's my direction here? Turn on major, lift motor, merger, detach. I forgot how to, where does it say? It doesn't say my selection here. Fold merger, lift merger, turn off merger. No, I don't want to go to the right. Oh, I forget which button it is now. Y, I think it is. Don't know why I think it's Y. I don't know why it's not giving me the the information. Detach, fold, lift. Oh, okay, that's why. I need to... Uh, what's the button here? Work mode right, work mode middle. There we go. Just needed to lift it up first, apparently. So, like I said, we're going to do the outside. Uh, we're gonna pick that up, and we're gonna make it into one, uh, one wind row here. Ooh, we can actually go pretty fast with this. How fast can you go with this thing? Twenty-two kilometers an hour. Wow, that is pretty quick. I have to be careful not to uh, bash the little. Uh, I don't even call that thing. The thing on the edge here, up against the, uh, the tractor. On the one side, it's gonna be. Oh, there's fences over here too. I didn't even notice that. On the one side, it won't be so bad, but. We're basically merging, merging three into one, for the most part, which is good. Yeah, so I got this voice, uh, voice bot, and you can, um, you can have to do a whole bunch of different things actually. Um, one guy, like I said before, I forget his name now. Um, I watched him. I used to watch him a little bit uh, with ETS. When I had more time, I used to watch ETS on Twitch, and one of the guys that he wa I would watch, he had VoiceBot, and he had it set up so it would allow him to do a whole bunch of different things, like he would call into dispatch and whatnot. I forget his name now, though. Anyhow, it was kind of neat, so I, fig I figured I'd pick it up. It was on the Humble Bundle, so in that Humble Bundle, there was Camtasia, which is a pretty pretty awesome screen recording software. Uh, I don't know if you can record games with it, to be honest with you, I've never tried. Uh, well, I just got it, so. But it looks like some people have done that, and it looks like it's okay. I just don't know how well it does it, is the thing I'm not sure about. And uh, what else came there? VoiceBot was the other thing that came in there. Camtasia, uh, Superposition, which is that um, benchmarking program. I tried it this morning. I thought it was going to be a quick little thing. It's not. It was uh, took a lot longer to load than I thought it was going to. I'm like, I don't have time to wait for this to load. So, anyways, that's what we were working on this morning here. And uh, just working away at that, trying that out, see how it works out. So, so that's where we're at. So I think the, like I said, the outside uh, few uh, rounds here we're gonna do in uh, silage because we need some silage for our cows, anyways. Uh, our like four cows that we have. So I figured might as well do that for those four cows. Eventually we'll get more cows, but. Or maybe we should get pigs instead, but pigs don't need silage at all. Or do they? I can't remember. I rarely have pigs because I just don't enjoy attending to the pigs. Wheat, barley, potatoes, no. Corn, straw, no, they don't need straw. So we have a bit of both, I suppose. Hmm. There we go. Like I said, this is a giant tractor for this particular activity. This is a a 300 horsepower tractor for this little guy which this thing only needs 150 horsepower it just looks the proper scale basically so yeah I should write that one down what was that shop so the funny thing is I have to hit a key in order to do a voice command anyways so I don't know how it's I don't know how efficient it's gonna be to, to hit to say shop but I have to hit a key to make sure it listens to that 
Because the problem I'm going to run into is the fact that, because I let's say when I'm recording, for example, so I'm talking a lot, saying a lot of other different things, and then what will happen is if I say if I uh, if I don't have it on like a uh, a key bind, for example, it'll make it uh, a little more difficult in order to uh, to, to disertain what, what's what, basically. What's a command, what's a me just talking sort of idea. So that's the one thing I'm not sure about, not sure how it's going to work. So anyways. So that's that. All right, so we've got our first headland done here, which is good. One thing I noticed about this particular field is uh, uh, the edge is not great around this field because uh, it does this one isn't isn't uh, of course but doesn't recognize it as a field by itself kind of so like what you can do here is like you can say calculate the current field's edge path and it'll calculate the edge but it's not recognized as a field already sort of thing so if I bring up the map it doesn't say field you know six or something like that so but the one thing is you notice how close it is to the fence row over here and that can create a problem so if you are playing on this map, I would suggest um, perhaps making a new outline for yourself. There we go. Because I, I used that outline and then with the mower and I definitely uh, clipped the fence once or twice. So anyways, we can get rid of that. Uh, there we go. Now one of the reasons why I chose a merger is A, because I don't use it very often, and B, because we're making silage, let's assume this is alfalfa, because we can't plant alfalfa at all. Actually, you know what we should do? I was expecting some information from this. Oh, there we go. Uh, so there's a measurement there, 5.2, grass, 33%, moisture, I don't know, I'm not sure. If you have any idea what this actually does, like I know this is, you know, how grown it is. Like it's 33% grown. It's how much moisture there is. And I don't know what I, I'm not sure what this and this is. Well, that's how much moisture there is, how much moisture the plants have, I suppose, what the crop actually is. But I don't know what, if it affects anything. So like if I were to go over to this field over here and do the same thing, I forget who told me to do this. So it doesn't say there anything. So just gives me the exact position so something to do with um, where am I here I want to go to here because there's an area uh, if I go to the entrance over here I believe this should tell me the moisture of the ground and this is the reason why I got really muddy here now let's go up and over here I think it was on the other side over here it was really muddy so someone suggested I check this I think maybe it was Magnus maybe 30% moisture there so so as it as it uh, as it rains more it gets higher moisture and you have bigger problems basically so all right let's try this again group one there we go so yeah that's kind of neat so I'm not necessarily the, the whole point of that like the moisture thing makes sense for the in terms of the mud and how much mud you have in that location but if I were to look at anything else, I'd be like, oh, okay, well, I'm not sure what the deal is there. Yeah, so in this situation, I've calculated the field edge path. So I already have it done, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, let's go to cancel here. So I can use this, this, and I have it set to field 30 just because it was the only one I didn't have. Current vehicle location. In this case, what I could do is I could set it up so... It has already done a headland here. Uh, return to first point, no. Starting direction automatic. Wanted to do, let's say, four headlands. And then we'll just stop the tractor real quick and just, that's my clutch in, there we go. And then have it delete, degenerate I should say. There we go. And I should be on the second headland right now. Except I'm going the opposite direction apparently. So then if you don't like that, uh, I'm going counterclockwise, do the same thing, and then it'll start there and this will be the second headland where I am right here, or the third one apparently, then you can have it do its thing here. 
And then next, let's go to the near earth waypoint. And then it'll do its thing. There you go. So that's how you can set it up on this particular field. If you'd like. Now this obviously this isn't the probably the the best uh merger well, the best rig. Like if I wanted to be as efficient as possible, I would have gotten the biggest one. The hibiscus, the Lily Hibiscus, or the Crone Squadrill. So one of those guys. But I wanted to use the merger because I don't use the merger very often and this seemed like a proper application for it, so to speak. There we go. Nice. Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if we're gonna save that course or not. So let's get let's get this right here. Um, so we want just the three. Those are just the headlands set up. So after it's on the four headlands, uh, we're gonna basically put all that into our silo over there, and the rest we're gonna turn into hay. Well, there's some gold nuggets over there. If you guys saw that or not. Those with a keen eye probably saw that. There's one and two. But those without a keen eye probably did not. So let's go ahead and uh, we won't be able to start merging, to, or we won't be able to start foraging today. I'm just gonna buy a forage harvester. And I think I have a John Deere one, don't I? Oh no, I must have gotten rid of it. I had one, but it wasn't a, I still like, this, this is still my favorite. The FR850. It's still out, out of all of them I've run into so far. It's my favorite. I suppose it's because it, I suppose I could use a Mass Ferguson with I think it had no. It doesn't have a pickup reel. It just has the chopping head, uh, so that's not very helpful. Or I could use one of these tow behind choppers, which might be a bit more realistic, I suppose. Considering we only have like four cows. I thought I had. I, I could have sworn I had one. I must have had one and then got rid of it. Yeah. I think there's sugar cane on this map, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Uh, what should we do? Should we get a pull behind? I'll let you guys decide. This will be the end of the video. In the end of the video, or in the end of the video, what would you guys prefer? A self-propelled forge harvester or a tow behind forge harvester? Leave a comment below with your thoughts, and I'll pick it up next episode. So that's it for me for today, folks. My name's Ian Robson. We'll try the voice bot once more. Group one. There we go. <laughs> My name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoy. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more Emerald Coast USA. I'll catch you guys later.